Hey guys, I'm back with another video today. I thought I would do like a video on what to wear and what not to wear to an amusement park because I was at Magic Mountain the other day or Six Flags and um, I noticed that these people were just like, I couldn't believe what they're wearing and just everything. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I'm going to recommend is clothing. Now. Magic Mountain is not the place to be trying to be fashionable because you're going to be juggling around all day, you're going to be upside down, you're going to be getting wet. It's not a time to try to look pretty. So if you're going to go to a place like that or Disneyland or Universal, my recommendation is to dress comfortably. Don't wear maxi dresses. I saw this girl the other day coming off of Viper. And she was wearing a maxi dress and she was, you know, walking down the stairs and she had to literally pick up the dress. I'm like, no. I see girls wearing skirts. I see them wearing dresses. I see them wearing halter tops. I see them wearing tube tops. No, guys. It's, you need to be comfortable when you go to these places. I mean, this, you guys do whatever you want, but this is just what, you know, because I've been to so many, I, I have been so many times at these places. My recommendation, wear, if you're going to go, wear nothing but jeans, either jeans or shorts, depending upon the weather. I would recommend, like right now, wearing shorts. Like when I went, I wore shorts and I wore just a t-shirt. That's it. Don't need to wear anything else. You don't need to wear a halter top because you got to wear a strapless bra and that may come off. you got to keep pulling it up and down. And then if you wear a tube top, may go down. Okay, maxi dress, it's too long, it's going to get in the way. You don't need to wear a skirt because then you got to remember to pull your stuff down and your crotch showing and every other thing. So just go in and wear um, jeans or shorts and a comfortable t-shirt. Next is jewelry. Oh my god, I saw these girls the other day on the Viper. We're standing in line for the Viper. If you don't know what the Viper is, it's it's been in a few films. It's been in Encino Man. It's been in 90210, the first series, the original series. It's been in True Romance. Um, it's a really popular ride. And basically, you go upside down like seven times. I saw these girls wearing earrings bigger than mine. Like, seriously, why would you wear jewelry to Magic Mountain? Why would you want to wear it? You're gonna, there's a possibility you may lose it or it's going to get caught on something. Don't do it. Do it if you want, but I'm just saying don't do it. Um, you don't need to wear a necklace like this because if you're hanging upside down, you may lose it. Um, the only item that you really need to wear when you're going is a watch. Is a watch. That's all. That's all you need to wear. Keep up with the time. If you're going to wear earrings, I would recommend like studs. I mean, I think a ring is okay, but not really. Not really. Just remember, just, this is just my key point. Just imagine, just think to yourself, are you going to be okay if this gets wet or lost? Because it's a place where it could happen. The next thing is um, shoes. Very important part of, very important part. Now, when you go to a place like this, you're going to be walking around. You're going to be a lot especially at Magic Mountain. This place is freaking huge. Okay, I would not recommend wearing sandals. And the reason being, you're going to be walking so much, your feet are going to get dirty, your feet are going to get stepped on when you're standing in line. Plus, when you get on rides like Batman, if you know what Batman is, Batman is basically, it's like one of those rides where your feet are dangling in the air, you have to take these shoes off and you may lose them. You'll be lucky if, you know, it's just not good. So I recommend just regular old tennis shoes. Tennis shoes with socks. You can't you can't go wrong. Your feet are going to be comfortable all day. You, you, you can't go wrong. The next thing that you always want to consider when you go to an amusement park is sunscreen sunscreen especially people because especially this time of year you're gonna get sunburned now if you don't have any sunscreen and this is very very true if you don't have any sunscreen 
just whip out some Victoria's Secret lotion like this. Just make sure to get this one. Not love spell, but just like this kind of lotion because this does have compounds of sunscreen in it. I used to use this, worked outside, and I mean for like five hours in the blazing heat. And I would come home, I would never be sunburned. Now, I do, I would not recommend they have that one line of lotion called Beauty Rush or whatever. You shake the bottle, it's like two colors in, in the spray bottle. Don't use that line of lotion because, trust me, you will get sunburned you will get sunburned. And then the last thing that's kind of an important detail that you always want to keep in mind when you go to an amusement park is you want to think about if you're going to a place like Disneyland or um, then it's you can get away with it or Knott's Berry Farm place like that but you always want to check to be sure what is the place's policy on storage because like, I know with Knott's Berry Farm, you can take your bags inside, and when you take your bags inside, like, if you go on a, like, um, like, like, okay, like, if I'm going to Knott's Berry Farm, and I'm going on Montezuma, you can just, before you go on the ride, you can just throw your bags off to the side. Not a problem. Okay, with Magic Mountain, that is not the case. They don't like that. Now, the only thing that you can leave on the side is your um, shoes, if you have sandals. Sunglasses is only if they're prescribed. So, you know, just tell them to prescribe, whatever. But, um, so like Magic Mountain, they want you to pay a dollar for each ride to put your stuff in for like, what, 20 minutes? Yeah, right, whatever. So my thing is, is I got one of these. I don't know where else you can get one like this, but this is um, this is a little heart pouch that I bought last summer when I bought the Just Me by Paris Hilton perfume. This came with it, and I thought this would be so cool to take with me to Magic Mountain because it has a little zipper on the side, and I can just slip my keys, my credit card, or my pass, or whatever in it, and then just zip it up. But the cool thing is, is that it has like a little keychain right here to where you can just slip it on your, your belt, your belt loop, you know, like fasten it inside your belt so it won't come off. And then you can just stick it inside your jeans. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, the other day when I went, my boyfriend asked me the weirdest question. He's like, he was looking at my jeans and he's like, did you forget to put on a belt loop today? And I'm like, what are you talking about belt loop? I don't put on belt loops. Because I had on these, like, I don't know, shorts. I, I got them on sale from Forever 21 for, like, five bucks. I hadn't worn them in a while, so I wanted to wear them. But anyways, I stuffed this in my po in my back pocket. And literally, after every ride, I was, like, checking my butt to see if, you know, it was still there. But you know what? It's got my credit card and my pass in it, which is, like, you know. So anyways, that's pretty much my advice when you go to, like, is a theme park is... Just comfortably. Don't try to be too fashionable. Oh, and then, oh, oh, oh. And hair. Hair, hair, hair. I'm sorry. I forgot to mention about hair. When I go to Magic Mountain or Knott's Berry Farm, I mean, if it's Disneyland, you can get away with, even if you go to Disneyland, don't go like, oh my god, I've got to do my hair like in a, in a, in all this crazy mess hairstyles. When I go to Magic Mountain or Knott's Berry Farm, I always put my hair I don't even like to put it in a ponytail because of the fact that when I get whipped around, it's still going to get in my face. I like to put it in, don't, I don't even like to put it in a bun. I just like put it in, in pigtails. It's the easiest, like your hair is not going to come out and it's always going to stay in one place. So it's the best. So I recommend that. So yeah, when you go, just dress comfortably. Don't even put on a watch. You know, just make your makeup look natural. You know, wear some very comfortable walking shoes. Don't wear any freaking sandals. Um, I wouldn't even, I've never worn a halt. I think I wore a halter top once, but I went to Knott's Berry Farm. And I was wearing a regular bra. But anyways, so yeah, just dress very comfortably when you go. Don't try to wear any long dangly jewelry because it's what's the point. But anyways, I hope that guys helps you out. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching my video. And have a good day. Goodbye.